Hello and welcome. I am Nancy and you are watching news today. It's time for headlines. Girls Who Code founder Rishma Sajani is speaking out after her company's book series was banned from a Pennsylvania school district. The books were just added to Pan America's Index of School Book Bans, a list of restricted literature around the country. This is about controlling women and it starts with controlling our girls and what info they have access to, Sajani told Insider. Girls Who Code founder Rishma Sajani was enjoying a quiet Saturday morning with her two young children when a news alert hit her phone. Her her company's book series had been placed on a list of banned books in schools. The series, which chronicles a group of young girls and their adventures as part of a coding club at their school, was just added to PEN America's Index of School Book Bans, a comprehensive, nationwide list of restricted literature. The index is updated annually by the organization, which advocates protecting free expression through the advancement of literature and human rights. I was just shocked, Sajani told Insider. This is about controlling women and it starts with controlling our girls and what info they have access to. The girls who code books were banned specifically by Pennsylvania Central York School District, located in a critical political swing region where Sajani said the organization has an active club. But she said the move is part of a larger effort by Moms for Liberty, a conservative organization that advocates for parental rights in schools, including oversight of educational material. In some ways we know that book banning has been an extreme political tool by the right, banning books to protect our kids from things that are obscene or provocative, but there is nothing obscene or provocative about these books, she told Insider.